hello guys you're welcome to my youtube channel if you've watched my videos you know them all about beauty health hygiene lifestyle just a little bit of everything if you haven't subscribed yet please go ahead and do so today i decided to talk about financial independence and why i think every woman needs to be financially independent i've been in different situations at different points in my life i've been financially stable and also dependent wholly on my partner at other time so everything that i'm going to say is basically going to be from my experience and my point of view i will explain all of that so if you're interested to know what i think please keep watching you welcome back my name is Vera. I truly, truly, truly think that every woman should have an income. I know taking up paid work or being an entrepreneur or a stay-at-home mom may be a personal decision. Trust me, it's important for women to have some monetary resources of their own to fall back on. I know that um, what makes us happy or our desires are different, our struggles are different too. But I'm going to base today's discussion on what I think and what I've experienced and what I believe. You can agree with me that we all have big goals to achieve, huge ambitions to pursue and high career la um, ladders to climb. And yet, there are so many women today, myself included, who aren't financially independent and are completely reliant on a spouse or family member for their financial needs. Why this is ultimately a personal choice a wise decision would be to ensure that you have some monetary resources to, you know, support yourself should the need arise. So anyone close to me knows that I've always been the go-getter. I'm a hard worker. I don't care how hard it may seem. I'm ready to take the risk as long as I'm in control of my financial life. In fact, my life has been... Then it was wake up in the morning, off to work come back in the evening, rest, take care of stuff at home, sleep. I'll do the same thing the next day, six days in a week. And I was happy. Yes, I was happy like that because it makes me happy as long as I make money because I feel like I should be able to take care of my needs. And I just don't like to bother people. I don't like to beg. But that was before I came to United States. Then I had my business that I started from the scratch and it was doing so well. And I never in my wildest dream imagined that I would be a stay-at-home mom. I didn't see the possibility then until I met my husband and we agreed I was going to join him in the United States. At first, I, it wasn't a big deal because I thought I would run my business from here. You know, shuttle the two country. But when I left Nigeria, I knew it was never going to be possible. The best thing to do would be to give my business up. It was very hard, but it was the right thing to do. I so said, I won't be able to control and continue to build the business from here. Also, I was hoping that I would get a job and, you know, other stuff when I get here. But you know how you're about to immigrate to America and you have these plans in your head. Let me tell you, when you get here, you will discover that what you think you know about America is totally different from what you're about to experience here. So that's exactly what happened to me circumstances couldn't let me get a job don't worry i'll tell you all about it maybe later i might make it like life in nigeria versus life in america later when i'm ready for the gist seriously you you understand more why people over here behave the way they behave so back to what i was saying i couldn't get a job i stayed home let me tell you it's not easy being a housewife or a stay-at-home mom it's the hardest job ever seriously i respect every stay-at-home mom giving up your career for your family is like the biggest sacrifice ever i swear sometimes i wake up in the morning i wake up on monday morning and it's like friday at some point i couldn't even tell the day and date and like you know it's just like you're out of this world seriously it can be depressing and i'm I'm just saying this based on my personal experience. I don't know how I survived the last two years. I started having mood swings. Sometimes I'm moody, sad for no reason because no income. 
don't get me wrong i enjoy my time with my kids 100 percent but you know the other part of me was lacking i just knew i had to find something that i can do at home that can keep me sane since i can't get a job yet and that was when i decided to start my youtube you guys thank god for the youtube that i created i'm telling you it has really given my life a purpose seriously it's like i'm back to life I just started living again. I became happy. You know, I wake up in the morning excited to do my makeup, share whatever it is that I know that can help somebody out there. Obviously, obviously, right now, you know, there's not much people subscribe to my channel, not much people watching. I'm not even making money, but I'm happy. At least I do something. I feel like I do something. I lay on my bed sleeping and I have these ideas popping in my head. Sometimes I wake up, you know, pick up my writing pad and just write them down. I start forgetting about things that worry me or things that I've gone through in the past that makes me sad because there's no time for it. Just no time. By the time I'm done with taking care of my kids, creating content for my channel, making videos, I just get exo exhausted and all I want to do is just go to bed and sleep forget about all negativities no time for it seriously every woman needs to find something that will keep them busy you know sometimes it can even take you out of depression and also the other reason to why i feel like every woman should be financially um, independent and number one is the power to choose being financially independent gives you the power to choose to live your life the way you want it there's nothing more liberating and empowering than being able to support yourself entirely on your own because as much as we dispute it at the end of the day money is what makes the world go around money is power financial independence can come to your rescue in the most unfortunate situations let's say women in abusive marriage who would more likely to move out a woman who has her own savings and ability to support herself or a woman who is completely dependent on her husband and has no means to take care, of, take care of herself. Many women who are financially dependent on their spouses find it extremely difficult to walk out of a busy uh, relationship because they don't have the means to support themselves or the children that are dependent on them. And believe me or not, our husband and believe me or not, your husband will respect and value your opinion more if you are making your money. So while financial independence would magically solve all your problems, it will definitely make things easier to deal with. Then the next thing will be self-worth. For sure, monetary worth is linked to self-worth and self-confidence. I'm a living proof, not in a bad way. Women who have the ability to support themselves and their family also have the ability to command respect and equality in both their professional and personal relationships. Trust me, women who give up their career to raise children also give up their financial independence and the scope to realize their full potential, which can have like a lasting effect on their self-esteem. And the next one is that it will help when there's life emergencies, we don't know what the future holds for us and it's important to be prepared. Misfortunes in life resulting from divorce, sudden death, unemployment or illness of a spouse can be infinitely more difficult for women who after years or even decades of dependency is suddenly left to fend for herself. For this reason, at least, women must learn to fend for themselves. And another thing is that financial independence will give you happiness. This is like the most important. Believe me, you deserve to be happy. Each one of us is entitled to happiness, right? Unfortunately, in today's world, many of the things that makes us happy cost money. Maybe you want a new dress or a short vacation or a new hair. Or maybe you want to even donate to a social cause that you deeply care about. Then you you start asking your spouse or your parents every time that you want money for these things. What if they say no? That will make you feel bad. And for me, to ask is a problem. Asking for money for everything you need is a problem. Wouldn't you be much happier if you were in control of your own finances? Believe me, human plus money equals happiness. 
Then the next one will be taking the pressure off your spouse. No matter how much your spouse make or how rich he is, it will be nice if sometimes you help out with the bills. I'm not saying take over, no. Just support in any way that you can. Sometimes even surprise him with gifts, you know. Practically speaking, it's, it is financially unreasonable for an entire family to depend on a single breadwinner. Not only does it put a lot of pressure on the spouse, it also puts a cloud of um, uncertainty over the dependent members should any crisis arise. Whatever the reason may be, becoming financially independent is one of the best things a woman can do for herself. This is my thought. What's your thoughts? Just let me know in the comment section, okay? I truly love this topic. Yeah, we could do more of it. Maybe next video will be on how to have um, your career even as a mom. How you can succeed at both jobs. Because being a stay-home mom is a job on its own. No? It's very hard, I'm telling you. It's not easy as people think. So, yeah, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a good time because I feel like this video might help someone who is feeling the way that I felt. Figure out what they need, you know, to be happy. Thank you all so much. I love you guys for watching. Please go ahead and check my other videos where I shared how to take care of your skin, your hair. The link is on my description box. Join the family. Subscribe, like, and share. Okay? Show more kindness wherever you are. I'll see you guys soon.